G'day. I just want to share with you something that's puzzled me for a number of years. There's this, the prevailing myth is that Aborigines in traditional lifestyles prior to European settlement didn't use returning boomerangs for hunting other than to throw around flocks of birds to, to scare them as if they were being hunted by a predator to scare them down into nets stretched between trees and that they would only use the non-returning boomerang a heavier um, hunting stick or a kylie as they're called in some cultures all right uh, to break the legs of uh, larger animals and uh, people at, uh, at great sometimes great ranges out to 400 meters However, I have heard of the people, the uh, local inhabitants of this area, the Paramank people in the Adelaide Hills and the Southern Flinders Ranges, um, uh, of uh, them using returning boomerangs to hunt birds that were on the ground. When you've got a flock of birds on the ground, like galahs or ducks, um, what they would do would be to use a returning type of boomerang thrown sidearm the way you don't throw a modern returning boomerang because they, they go up in the air and they come down and they break. But they would throw them sidearm so that they would, uh, the flock would fly up and get hit by them. They would throw several of them at once. Now that to me makes a lot of sense because one, they didn't used to carry a lot of um, things that so, superfluous to their survival uh, that were awkward or bulky because they were nomadic people. Um, two, uh, a lot of the boomerangs that you find uh, from the um, AP, uh, not the AP, well, APY lands, south, uh, the, the southern Flinders Ranges and Adelaide Hills have pointed ends. So if you're trying to catch that, if you're just using it for fun uh, and games, you probably wouldn't want to have pointed ends on it because you'd you know, kill someone. Uh, so, I just want to show you what happens when you throw a boomerang the incorrect way, sidearm. I've got a couple of markers over here. Um, and you can imagine five, six hunters throwing these all at once at some birds that are on the ground to get them to fly up. All right? And you see it goes out and then up. Out horizontally and then up. So it gets it. First one will get them off the ground. And then. And hopefully none of them break. Right, so you've got them coming up and you've got them coming down into the flock. And it doesn't take much to hit a bird to disable it, so you can then go and catch it. All right, break a, a bird's wing or a bird's, bird's leg. And. Uh, or, or to stun a bird or break its neck. Uh, easy meal. So, let's see what you think. 